What's up, you guys? Isaac with a chance to hear my hundred, hear my hundred sixty ninth video review. And today we're gonna be looking at the Transformers, the Transformers Legacy, um, Voyager class G axis from the G two from the G two universe. So for the package, you got this very cool open window. Even though it doesn't have a window, you can actually just touch him. The showcase is the figure. Um, you get his name G axis right there. Um, and he's from Transformers Legacy, and he was. And he was made by Hasbro. On this side, you get this side. Well, technically, on this side, you get a really cool um artwork of G axis, and then um you get the artwork of of Transformers Legacy. On the back of the box, you get G axis in his robot mode. Is 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 um his plane mode, jet mode, whatever the, whatever you want to call it. And he transforms in twenty three steps, and that's it. So for the package. So for the package of G axis, that's about it. So let me get this dude out here and see how awesome and G2 accurate he actually is. So here's G axis open up and out his packaging and also in his in his plane mode. And I'm gonna say right off the bat, this is actually a really interesting plane mode. The alt mode looks awesome. I did look up this figure. I'm sorry, I did look up the character from the comics, which is G axis. I looked him up and I was like, yeah, I think the I think the jet I guess the uh the plane mode from the comics just now just got turned into a legacy figure. And I'm actually really impressed with it. I'm really impressed what they did to um, manage to give us a comic book version of G2 Giaxis from the comic books. I think he looks amazing. Now to talk things off, we're going to talk about the color scheme. The, the color scheme looks awesome amazing i love this yellow this metallic metal this metallic metal um yellow right here on his on the plane mode including with i really in, and then here we have here's the uh the white paint job up here you do get these uh these i believe these are like silver gunmetal like these gunmetal silver cords right about here um, these look like cords or wires. I don't even know. They look like wires and cords all at once. I'm not sure what they are. Um, but then right here you get his green wings, which are green. And then you get, um, his, um, and you do get some red here for the back of the plane. And then you get his, oh, this cleared up when you get the cleared up, a uh, windshield window right there. And then you get the, the red nose cone. And you get his arms underneath, and the, you, you know you got the rest of the color screen. The, I'm sorry, the color scheme of yellow, the yellow, the green, and the white, and half red mostly. And then you get this. Uh, I believe this is a G2 Decepticon logo. I'm not sure what kind of logo this. I I've, I've seen a logo like this, but I forgot what kind of logo this is. I might have to look that up. Um, so I guess that's it for the, uh, jet form. Well, plane, actually. Um, and he comes with accessories. He does come with these weapons that are, here we have, here's his weapons, which this is a thin weapon. You got this gunmetal silver or gray, um, color scheme on his weapon. And then you do get you do these you do I think you do see some some gun some gunmetal silver well most the most of the gunmetal silver and some gray on his weapon and you do get his um his red weapon which is awesome and then last but not least he does come with the menu um you can actually either it's up to you if you want to put him in um uh, robot mode or his plane mode however you um want it. See, there you go. And I think that's it for uh, uh, G-Axis. That's it for uh, G-Axis uh, plane mode and the accessories. So let's get into transformation for G-Axis. So for transformation for G-Axis, it's kind of simple, I guess. So let's just see. First, what you want to do is go ahead and grab... You just want to you want to grab this piece and then put it down here just like, just like that. You want to fold this wing in. Do the same on this side. Fold, unfold that. We'll take that off. Um, put this in just like that. Fold the wing just like that. Just take these out. We're going to start off with the legs. The first off, we're going to take this off. We're going to take this off. 
just put it up just for now and I'll do the rest of it a little bit later. Um, and then now you want to go ahead and split the legs. Like before you do that, you want to You want to grab these very gently just take them apart take the legs take them apart just like that and you want to take this leg one second oh you want to unplug the foot from there grab this I'm gonna grab this piece, take the foot down. Oh wait, there we go. And you wanna flip this up just like that. You wanna take this out. I mean, I mean, you wanna fold it in, it's fine, but with me, um, so it's part of the robot mode that you're supposed to take this wing out and it just sits there. Now we get to this leg. Want to take, want to take the foot out from this piece, and you want to fold this down just like that. Take this. Oh wait, there we go. And you want to grab this and put it all the way up just like that, and double check the legs, make sure we're good. And there we go. Now we're done with the legs. And now I'll get to the upper body part. Uh, you want to grab... I just want to just, just leave that for a little bit. You want to separate the arms just like this. Separate them just like that. Grab the nose cone just like that. There we go. I'm gonna grab that, grab this. Wanna pull the head out, just like that. Before you attach the head in, you wanna grab this piece. Wanna grab this piece, just like that. Wait, I don't have it all the way out. There we go. So you want to fold the nose cones in, the nose cone in, and put this upper body piece back down, and you want to attach this to right here. See if I can get it in there. There we go. And you want to grab the. Uh, then you want to grab his back piece and fold it up just like that. And last but not least is the forearms. Want to open these up. Wait. Want to open these up just like that. Grab the fist. Put that up. And want to fold that in just like that. Do the same on this side. Grab this one. And put that in. And double. Ch oh, and rotate the body. That's better. And I guess that's mostly it. Double check. And I think we are finally finished. And when you're done, do you have, do you have G axis in his robot? So mode. here we have G axis in his robot mode. And he looks pretty accurate to what he looks like. Um, do so um, recently, do I like this figure? Hell yeah. I actually do love this figure. Um, and, and technically the robot mode kind of does remind me a little bit like Omega Supreme, but different. But I'm, I mean, well, with the head sculpt, it does look like it does remind me a little bit like Omega Supreme, but different. Um so technically, I actually do like the color scheme on the robot mode. Uh, you got his yellow, his yellow hands, or well, mostly his his hold his yellow holding hands where he holds his weapons. You got his um his white arms. You got um his white and yellow uh lower legs. You get um his white thighs, and you got 
the and you got um his red and you got um some of the red and the rest of, and the and some of the other um color schemes on this guy. Um so taking a look at the head sculpt, it looks exactly like G Axis and um he does look he looks kinda he looks kinda like grumpy a little bit. Um you do get his yellow face you get his red, um, his red, um, his red helmet and some kind of red chin thing. You get his, uh, I believe this is our, like, these silver cords or something. I don't know what these things are. And then you do get his green eyes. Um, you get this, uh, this targeted thing. I don't know what this weapon, this is on his, uh, shoulder. Um... So, I think the color scheme does look pretty, um, cool to the comics. Um, so, recently, um, and he does have the, uh, the, uh, logo on him, which I still don't know. I mean, I mean, I might have to look up the logo anyway. So, um, the rest, so the rest of the figure does look pretty awesome. And I'm really impressed. I actually got this figure for the first time. But this is actually my first time actually getting G-Axis. But my third time getting him as... But my third time actually getting a G2 um, Transformer. But my first time getting G-Axis. Um, so for articulation, um, he can look this way. He can look that way. He can look up a little bit. He can look down a little bit. Um, he can move his, move his arms. And this is how his arms actually can go much farther. Um, so you can you can move his arm, he can move his elbow joint, he can move this arm, he can move this elbow joint. Um, he can move his uh his his legs. He can move his knee joint for the most part, and his ankle joint. Now with these little green wings, um, I know the robot mode supposed to have, uh, the green wings out. <clears throat> um, it's up to you if you want to have them either folded in or folded out. But with me, I'll probably say it doesn't matter, but mostly I'll just have them out for the most part. Um, now, I guess that's it for the color scheme and the rest of the, um, robot mode. So, you can actually s store his weapons on his hands, but you do get these peg holes. You do get the peg holes where you actually can actually, um, plug, um, plug, um, the weapons on his forearm. Or you could plug them on his, um, his, uh, his shoulders, however you want it. Um, and maybe, I think you can also plug them on his legs, just in case. But recently, I think I'm going to have him hold them. So I'll just have him hold them just like that. And there we go. Oh, I didn't know he can. And also, yes, he can actually open his hand a little bit, actually. I didn't know that was actually there. Yeah, I didn't know. So now he's. Now he's in now he's ready for action. So I guess that's it. So so what do you guys think of this figure? Do you like it? You don't like it? Uh with me, I really like it. Um so I guess that's it for uh G Axis and that's it for the rest of the robot mode, the color schemes and everything. And I think that's about it for G Axis and that's it. So be sure to like, subscribe, press notification by following me on Instagram, comment down below and I'll see you on my, my next video. Thank you for watching.